guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Sandra Burnett. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I want to say to you, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to do a routine hair wash day. I'm going to also include a rice water rinse for strong, healthy hair. Remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, click that notification button, and let's get busy. Guys, here are the products that we will be using today to do our routine wash day and protein treatment. All right, so we're going to get started. As you can see that my hair is in braids. So I'm just going to quickly start taking the braids out. You can see how long my braids are. My hair is just growing really, really long. And ladies, also I do want to say is you want to go check out some of my videos because what I'm doing is working. And if it's working for me, definitely you want to follow someone where you can see results. So I'm just going to take my water and just spray a little water in my hair. And this is just to prepare for the detangling. Next, what I'm going to do is put in the Swah moisturizing conditioner. And I'm only going to take about this much. I love this conditioner. My hair is so easy to detangle with this conditioner. At first I started off using the Tresemme and the Tresemme is good but this works even better than the Tresemme. It is inexpensive. I bought it at Walmart. Three dollars and something. But definitely try it. So next I'm going to just add a little more and I'm going to do this really quick. It doesn't take long to do this. Just put it in there and get those ends really well. And I'm going to squeeze it in some as well because you want to really get that moisture into that hair because I'm going to do a protein treatment. I told you guys in my protein treatment video in which I want you to go back and watch. Protein is good for the hair. We know that. But you want to make sure you get a balance because if you don't get a balance, your hair will dry out, break, and then it's going to look like your hair is not growing when all the time it really is. Ladies, what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the rest of the pre-pulling off camera. Now I'm going to use the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisturizing Defense Shampoo. I really like this shampoo because it really hydrates the hair, especially before a protein treatment. And guys, another thing that I like about this shampoo, it targets dry, dehydrated hair. It also provides a lot of moisture and help your hair to be soft and smooth. I really recommend this shampoo because one thing it doesn't do also, it doesn't weigh down the hair. Adds so much moisture. So you can see I'm really getting the shampoo in my hair to prepare for this protein treatment. Okay, so now I'm going to add in more moisture. I'm going to use the Heritage by Mickey McKnight. It's the SOS. It is actually a deep moisture restore conditioner. And it states that it is a deep penetrating conditioner for thick, curly, coily hair. It provides intense hydration, volume, 
and rejuvenation to the hair. So this is actually a great conditioner to use, again, when doing a protein treatment. Now guys, we know that protein treatments are done to prevent breakage, to help our hair to be strong so that it can grow. But we got to remember that a protein treatment is a very intense treatment. So we have to make sure that we don't overload, overload with moisture or overload with protein. So it's very important to know your hair. After 45 minutes of sitting under my hair dryer, now I'm going to start the protein treatment. And guys, you can find the link to how I made this protein treatment in the description section of this video. Now guys, you can see that I added some of the protein treatment in my spray bottle. And then I also purchased this little bottle from my local beauty supply store and then I have it halfway filled with water. This protein treatment has been sitting for days so it's really strong so that's the reason why I added the water. So I'm going to fill the rest of the bottle up with the protein treatment. And I'm going to make sure that I shake it up really well here. Someone had asked me, how often should you do a protein treatment? I would say that goes back to knowing your hair. Some people do protein treatments every week, every day. Some people do it every two weeks. Me personally, because I know my hair, I'm gonna do it like every four to six weeks. So we're going to start using the protein treatment now. We're going to first start off with spraying the protein treatment on our scalp, getting it all the way through on your scalp around the edges of your hair. And then this is very important, massaging your scalp. So you notice I'm really taking my time spraying more protein now all over my hair. Squeezing it in, getting those ends good. And you want to repeat these same steps throughout your hair. And my hair was really easy to detangle. Look at that, my hands just gliding through my hair. As you can see, I didn't need much of the protein treatment. Now I'm gonna leave the plastic bag on for 30 minutes. Now ladies, when you rinse out the protein treatment, just use water, not a shampoo. Just let warm water run through your hair to rinse out the protein treatment. Okay guys, so I washed the rice water out and I noticed that my hair was easier to detangle. So guys, I encourage you to try it. And so I'm going to follow up with the Cantu uh, Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. And then I'm going to seal it with my jojoba oil. Guys, thank you for joining me. Remember to subscribe, click that notification button and give me a thumbs up. Bye!